<laughs> wait, wait. Right. We're, we're starting that again. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back for another vlog. So today is quite a busy day at uni. Um, I've got a 9am which means that I have to leave here by 8.30 latest, preferably 8.25. So it was a 7am start because I needed to shower. So the plan is to multitask this morning um, as it is currently 7.53. So I do still have to have my breakfast um, and pack my bag and stuff. So one thing that I wanted to do in the morning to get me out of bed and to get me in a good headspace was to kind of listen to productive videos and like inspirational things, not cringy things. However, I definitely don't really have the time to read a book, like sit down and read a book in the morning, unless if I wake up an hour earlier. And currently as a student, my sleep is very precious. So I downloaded the app Blinkist. And basically it's an app that simplifies books. My favorite one that I listened to was Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. With this app, you can either read it in summary note form or you can actually listen to it as an audiobook. So what I do is I put it in the shower on the little shelf. I think it's quite efficient that way because you get to listen to a book while also showering and they only take about 15 minutes I'd say, 10 to 15 minutes. On their homepage though, sometimes if I've run out of books to look for, they have the kind of Blinkist minute, so new ideas daily in under two minutes. So I might listen to that while I'm getting ready for the shower. They've also got a few on economics, which is actually quite helpful for my course because I study economics and management. I did actually ask, but unfortunately they don't have any of my textbooks on here. Otherwise I thought that might be quite a good way of revising. Of course, I will always say when content is sponsored and um, kindly Blinkist did actually agree to do that of course I trialed out the app for about two months and I am actually starting to believe that this app is how I stay so productive in the morning one of the main reasons that I actually use this app in the shower is because our Wi-Fi box doesn't actually stretch all the way to the bathroom so what I do is when I'm in my bedroom I will download all the stories that I want to listen to then I'll go in there and then I can play it offline Because I've already had a shower today, I don't really want another one and it's raining quite hard outside. So I think I'm gonna have to get public transport. As much as that kills me, I hate wasting money when I could walk, but it is a 35, 40 minute walk. I still don't have a coat or an umbrella. So yeah bit stuck. It is actually meant to warm up later today and I'm going to a fancy meal with Nicole's dad which will be really nice. So that is why I'm wearing a skirt plus I also only have two pairs of trousers and they're both in need of a wash. Have a good day! See you later! So not many of my lectures are actually in Bush House this year which is really sad but the one this morning is in the King's Building and then the one this afternoon is in Stamford Street Apartment Lecture Theatre. I didn't actually know that Stamford Street Apartments had a lecture theatre but that will be at 4 till 6 and I'll show you that later. I've arrived at the lecture hall, we found it, it's like a weird building and Amar's going to be here in a second but Poppy's not feeling good today so... I'm not feeling good guys and also I'm sorry I missed in the last vlog I promise I only wear it like three times a year. Amar also did have a big tooth surgery yesterday and he's at uni, isn't that... And I went out last night. Yeah okay but like that is determination. Passion, commitment, dedication. So ugly, oh don't You don't have a scrunchie? Okay, take mine. So we finished the lecture and we've headed over to the meadow which is in a different building but we popped into the shack and I picked up a natter for £1.50. Probably was meant to get a smoothie but oh, I know. Like if you went to Portugal you could get this for like 30p but anyway. Um, yeah but I think the flight might cost more than £1.50 so maybe it was. <laughs> so we're going to start doing our tutorial work for the next microeconomic session. That's already... Five steps ahead of this. Go on. I've already finished it for the day. We are working really hard. Anything we can to try and get in the <laughs> So I was sitting up studying in the meadow and I came across these two lovely viewers. Do you want to say hi? I'm Charlotte. And I love my angels. <laughs> What's your name? Um, I'm Catherine, Catherine, and I'm also um, doing um, I, um, I am politics. My name is Dian Park, and I'm from South Korea. My mother watches your video because <laughs> I go to KFC. I'll say hi to your mum, that's so cool. <laughs> oh look, a mum's being noticed. <laughs> I'm going to continue working in the meadow by myself. <laughs> See you later. 
so it's coming up to one o'clock now so I'm gonna pop out for lunch but I just had a lovely what was it about an hour long chat with these lovely ladies who are speaking about TV shows the Hong Kong protests um, and just a lot of things it was really lovely to meet you yeah it was so lovely to meet you too yeah. right, so it has just gone one o'clock and I'm joined with Misery She was just telling me that in her business induction, they mentioned my video. Yeah. How crazy is <laughs> that? Met, did they even like took the thumbnail and put in the presentation. Like everyone was like, "Whoa, that's so oh, crazy!" That, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. But yeah, I will vlog a little bit more when I get to the lunch place. I'm very, very hungry. By the way. I'm very hungry. I'm starving. Well. Like, I eat breakfast early, so I every eight. I'm so same. Cool. I have cappuccino with oat milk. Very nice. I have a sandwich. Ham and cheese, toast, yes. classic. And then I got a halloumi and smoked salmon salad. We spent, what was it, about an hour and a half having yeah. lunch? Yeah, we had but so much fun. We just popped in to the thrift shop. Maisley got a pair of jeans. I got these guys. Maisley now has to go in the tube and I've got to head to my lecture, which is actually in like 10 minutes. You say, don't be silly on the tube. I won't. So it's just gone 7 p.m. and I am home. I did stop off at my dad's work to pick up the huge printer and also I carry back my camera lights. My arm actually hurt to hold up this camera now. Nicole and I will probably be leaving here around 7.45ish to go meet her dad um, for a nice meal. We're going for an Italian tonight. Really excited for that. But before then, I'm actually gonna FaceTime my mum because apparently she's done some paintings today and she called me up in the lecture that I had um, in my econometric lecture, but I had to like decline it and be like, wow, I'm in a lecture. Luckily my phone was on silent though, but I just got an email through from her being like, now are you free to FaceTime mum? So I'm gonna give her a quick ring now and um, yes. <laughs> mum, do you wanna say hi? hi? I don't think they can see you actually. Oh, what is, is that like a lily or something? It's like, um, yeah, one of those trumpet flowers. It's uh, 22 now. This is Nicole, by the way, if you've Hi. not seen her. My name's Nicole. <laughs> so we're going to head out now. Do you know what the name of this place is? No, it's Italian though. Okay. Do we just look for an Italian restaurant down Tottenham Court Road? Because there won't be many of those. <laughs> So it's about quarter past 11 when we got back home. Um, it was a really nice meal. I only got to vlog the kind of dessert part, but it was really nice, had a huge pizza, wasn't gluten free, so bloating a little bit, but it was so tasty. It was a really nice place. We saw some famous people. What was his name, Nicole? Chris, maybe? His name is Chris and he was sitting opposite Francesca. I'm in my onesie now because I put my pajamas in the wash and I actually don't have any more pajamas left. So it's gonna be a onesie night tonight. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week with some new videos. Have a lovely day. Bye!